Good day students! Welcome back to Maestrong Techie YouTube channel! Welcome to National Learning Camp students or should I say campers! The title of our lesson 2 is Let's Get Rolling! If you haven't watched our lesson 1 video lesson, click the link in the description box below. So, what are we all waiting for? Let's fill our minds with another science concepts. For our short review, let us have jumbled letters. All you have to do is arrange the following letters and form a new word. Are you ready class? Let's start! Let's have our first word. What do you think is this jumbled letters? This is force. That's right. When we say force, it is an influence that causes an object to change its velocity. It is a push or a pull or something that makes things move. Okay class, let's now proceed to our second word. Hmm, what do you think is this word class? This is applied force. That is correct. It is a force that is applied to an object by a person or another object. Amazing, right? Let's have the third word. What do you think is this jumbled letters? It starts with letter G. That is gravity. That is correct. It is the force by which a planet or other body draws object toward its center. And that is gravity. I know you are all familiar with this word. Next word. What is this jumbled letters? It starts with letter M. It is magnetic. That is right. Magnetic force can be defined as the attractive or repulsive force that is exerted between the poles of a magnet and electrically charged moving particles. That is magnetic force. Let's have the next word. What do you think is this word, class? It starts with letter E. That is electrostatic. Electrostatic forces are attractive or repulsive forces between particles that are caused by their electric charges. Just like the static electricity in our hair, comb, and the pieces of paper. Have you tried this experiment class? If you haven't, try it at home. Next, we have, what do you think is this jumbled letters? It starts with letter N. This is normal force. The normal force is an everyday force that is felt when a surface pushes against an object that is placed on that surface. Just like this example, a book that is placed on the table. And that's it class for our jumbled letters. Let's have another one. Let's have picture analysis. I have here a picture. As you can see, we have here a girl who is playing on a slide. What do you think the forces interact when you slide down a playground slide? Any idea, campers? Let's have this. As you climb up to the top of the slide, you are climbing against gravity. That's right. Now, when you slide down, gravity pulls you down, but friction makes your legs and hands feel hotter. Do you feel that, campers? And lastly, you can also feel gravity pulling you down and you can feel the force of the slide pushing up. But friction slows you down a bit too. Good job class for our short review. Now let's proceed to lesson purpose. This lesson is about how forces act on an object to have an effect on the object's motion. Even though the forces involved cannot be seen directly. Interesting topic, right class? So what are you waiting for? Please keep on watching. Let us now proceed to language practice. These are the words that you are going to encounter all throughout this lesson. Now, please repeat after me. Everybody, let's say experiment. Next, detect. Next, identical. Launch. Next, gravity. And lastly, friction. Very good class. Now let's proceed to our discussion. Let's talk about force. Again class, when we say force, it is an influence or interaction that causes an object to change its velocity. A force can be a push or a pull. Now let's have this activity. The title of our activity is Building a Force Detector. Let me read to all of you our lesson stimulus. Two students decided to try to build a model that would allow them to show that a force acting on an object must exist even if 
you cannot see it with our naked eyes. To test their thinking, they conducted an experiment to see if a force can be detected by the effect of the force on an object's motion. Let us see their experiment. As you can see, class, they used three identical toy cars to be launched from the same starting point to run on three identical tracks. Next, the only thing they changed was the angle of the launch ramps because they knew that the force of gravity acting on each car is the same, but by using a different angle for each car, they could accelerate each car differently. They used 10 degrees, 15 degrees, and 20 degrees. And as you can see, each car accelerate differently. Their teacher said to them, without the forces of friction and air resistance to slow the cars, the cars would just keep running right across the floor until they hit something. However, the experiment will be valid because friction and air resistance would be the same for each car because they used identical cars. Now, here are the data that the students collected in their experiment. As you can see, in car number 1 with the ramp angle 10 degrees, the average distance traveled is 75 centimeters. In car number 2 with the ramp angle of 15 degrees, the average distance traveled is 109 centimeters. And in car number 3, with a ramp angle of 20 degrees, the average distance traveled is 145 centimeters. In summary, the students wanted to see if a greater force resulted in a car moving further. They reasoned that a car moving a greater distance along the flat track indicated that the initial force applied to the car was greater. Did you understand our lesson activity class about building a force detector? Now, here's our guide questions. Pause this video and write your answer on a piece of paper. Alright class, let us see if you got it correct. First question, what is an experiment? When we say experiment, it is a practical investigation. It is a scientific procedure undertaken to make a discovery, test a hypothesis, or demonstrate a known fact. Question number two. What things did the students keep the same in their experiment? Going back to our lesson stimulus, they have identical cars. Cars that have the same weight, size, and shape. They also use the same type of truck length of track that was flat on the ground. Question number three, what do the students' results show? Going back to the data collected by the students, as you can see, the car three moved further than car number one and car number two, as you can see in the average distance traveled. Car number two moved further than car number one. It means that the greater force resulted in a car moving the greatest distance. So, the movement of the car indicated the strength of the force acting on the car as it ran down the ramp. Or simply, greater ramp angle, greater distance. Greater force, greater distance. Let's now proceed to guide question part B. Again class, pause the video and answer these three questions. Let's check it. Question number one, what is force? Again, class, when we say force, it is an influence or interaction that causes an object to change its velocity. It is either a push or a pull. Question number two, what did the two students want to show with their experiment? In their experiment, they want to show that a force acting on an object must exist even if you can see it or you cannot see it with our naked eyes. And the result of their experiment, greater force resulted in a car moving further. Let's have question number three. Were the students able to detect a force? Explain. Yes, if a force exists, it will cause the cars to move. And as you can see, all the three identical cars moved. Therefore, the results shows that force exists. And that's it, class, for our lesson activity. Good job, class, for answering guide question part A and part 
B. Now, let's proceed to our lesson conclusion. Could you find any answers in the stimulus text for questions in guide question A or B? Which ones? Question number two, what differences do you notice between questions in A and B? And question number three, did you find it easier to answer the questions in A or B? Why? And that's it, class, for our lesson two. Let's get rolling. I hope you learned something new in our lesson for today. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit the bell button to be updated on our lesson three video lesson. Goodbye, class.